ki khubor ka bate si tv lawan rashpi da ka frank motors booking open for the new nexon visit frank motors or call 7054207973 ha ka shipotre urisao arajar pulai ka bethni hospital ka pelong ya ka jingelang ken mau iet bat ken mau burom yo nong seng jong ni hospital dr john l silo rentatiang ka shipotre urisao ka de ka singi kha jong dr silo Hakini kesini kini orang terai jaga Bethany Hospital, nado ki doktor, ki nurse, bat baru kini orang terai ki buat ekat hong dewas kem, bagin buat ki dianjat untuk doktor Silo, bat ban pun orang longru ya ki ji angnuat ki jang u, ban ai ke jing sekri ke bawah tam ya ki pat ba. U doktor Silo laklat no ars nem tam mencua, kata kakak santri uyayong arajar arpo, hadian bola yo ya ke jing pang COVID-19, hakini ke jing yang ken mau ye ke bar, la ai ke jing keren ke bawah kerpang dau doktor. Ketosa KV Chusa. Ubudai unong thok pot unong keren pat ba. Ubudai yo ya ka kusnam First Gordon Graham Prize for Naga Literature. Bethany Hospital in honor of the invaluable contributions and sacrifice made by the founder of Bethany Hospital, late Dr. John L. Silo Rentatiang, to the healthcare sector and society as a whole. This event is scheduled to be held today, the 10th of October, 2023, coinciding with the birthday of our late founder. On behalf of a large Bethany hospital, Bethany family, which owes its existence to the person who, although no longer with us, yet his presence is with us today, and I believe, in the remaining days, as we celebrate his birthday today and in the coming years through this memorial oration, three years have passed since he left us. But the name and the fame of our dear founder, director, is alive and striving. And we, the members of Bethany family, shall endeavor and strive to continue to live out the legacy of compassion, care, and commitment that he has left for us to carry forward. To this second memorial oration of Dr. John Silo Rindatyang, the founder director of Bethany Hospital, Shillong, Bethany Hospital Outreach, Nongpo, which include the OPD services, service at Omsning, the Diagnostic and Primary Health Care Center at uh, Burney Hutt. He was also the founder of our college, of the Bethany College of Nursing, soon to be School of Nursing, soon to be the College of Nursing. Besides these, Dr. John Sailorandathyang was also a quiet philanthropist a lover of nature, an accomplished musician. And what better way to celebrate the life of such a great man whose contributions extend beyond healthcare. He has left behind a legacy that will, that will live on for generations to come. Following his graduation from Patkai Christian College, Nagaland, Anyo started study theology, earning a BD, from Union Biblical Seminary and a master degree in theology from the University of Oxford. As a Langham scholar, he earned a PhD from Oxford Center for Mission Studies, London. He is currently completing a second doctorate from Biola University, USA. He is also the winner of the first Gordon Graham Prize for Naga Literature for his monograph Forgiveness and Politics, a Critical Appraisal. Now, as I thought about what I could speak into, what might be appropriate and worthwhile to say today, I was drawn to the three core values upon which the Bethany hospitals are built. Compassion, care, and commitment. Compassion is not just feeling the pain or suffering of another. But compassion 
goes further. There is that deep desire in compassion to alleviate the suffering of that person. Not just feeling it, but mitigating it. So compassion is more than empathy. Secondly, care. Your second core value is care. If cure is the primary and ultimate purpose, well, hospitals, medical professionals, and medical institutions will all ultimately fail. On the other hand, if care is primary and ultimate, and if it is a governing principle, then even if curing fails, care cannot be say, said to have failed. Any medical personnel who extends care yeah. till the end has not failed. I think of my own parents and their doctors and nurses who though they could not cure them anymore, yeah. cared for them till the end. And I say, they did not fail because they cared. So cure cannot be ultimate, but care can be ultimate. The third core value of Bethany is commitment. You need us as much as we need you. And I don't say this to mean that you need us to make a living. <laughs> Someone said, God cures and the doctor takes the fees. In other words, God does the healing, the doctor does the billing. But I say that to remind you, again, that you need us as much as we need you. And I mean that you need us frail, feeble, fallible, and fallen, common, ordinary people like us. You need us to remind yourselves that you too belong to our company and you are one of us. Frail, feeble, fallible, and fallen. Secondly, a commitment to charity. Private hospitals, they do a lot of charity work, you know, in the background. They don't announce it, but they are doing. Bethany Hospital, I, I'm sure you have a lot of charity work behind the scenes. Heaven knows, angels count, God will reward. Fourth, a commitment to conscience. That document says that there must be courage. But courage in the medical profession is not just undertaking dangerous procedures or doing dangerous operations. It is not just professional courage. Courage is not just about doing what is professionally right. Courage also requires doing what is morally right and correct. I want to end by saying something about the term Bethany. I'm sure our founder knew this. I have no doubt he knew this when he chose Bethany. But I wonder how many of us are aware of the significance of Bethany. According to biblical scholars, the most probable meaning of the word Bethany, not just biblical scholars, historians also, the most probable meaning of Bethany is it means house of misery, house of suffering, or house of affliction. So Bethany Hospital quite literally means the hospitality in and of the house of affliction. What a beautiful name it is. But Bethany is also significant for at least two other reasons. First, it was in Bethany that Jesus raised Lazarus from the dead. And secondly, it was in Bethany, two nights before Jesus was crucified, it was in Bethany on Wednesday night, that Jesus was anointed by that woman with that expensive perfume. And Jesus said that she did this to prepare him for his death and his burial. And so too, may it always be with Bethany Hospital. May it be a place where you figuratively raise people from the dead and quite literally raise people from the bed. But even if you are not able to do that, to all who come to you, 
May Bethany Hospital be a place where you prepare people well to die well and to be buried well. May Bethany Hospital be a place where people not only get well, but also die well. Thank you.